Hey guys, I'm back with another video and I have a massive Christmas candle haul from Bath & Body Works. So a lot of you guys have been leaving comments saying, can you please do Christmas candle reviews? So your wishes have been answered or your prayers have been answered because today I do have a massive Christmas candle haul from Bath & Body Works. So we'll get right into it. Uh, if you joined me on my Instagram live last night, thank you so much for your participation and thanks so much for joining me. I did a very impromptu uh, candle haul live video on Instagram on at the candle channel. So join me there if you want uh, access to impromptu candle lives. And it was really fun because it was like doing a interactive haul where I would haul and show the product, but then you guys can actually like directly in real time ask me questions as to whether or not I smelled ABC, how does it compare to this or that or the other. So it was super fun to actually be able to do like a interactive haul real time. So it was a lot of fun. So I did that on Instagram. I don't know if I'll do that all the time, but the Christmas ones were kind of like fun or special and I had a real fun time doing it. So thank you so much to everybody who joined me on the Instagram live last night. So the word on the street is that the Christmas candles are supposed to start launching on 1014, which I believe is next Thursday. Um, and there's also a rumor that there's supposed to be a BOGO type of candle sale. We don't know exactly if it's like a buy one, get one or buy two, get two or what it is. So there's supposed to be some type of sale uh, for that starting next Thursday. Uh, of course, everything is subject to change, but that is the word on the street as to when a lot of these Christmas candles will come out and the promotion for it. Uh, so they are like, you know, bringing all these candles in with a splash, especially if they're doing new candles plus a sale. So of course, I wanted to get a few of them early just so I could share my thoughts with them and then could be a little bit more prepared uh, going into the sale next weekend. Uh, so without further ado, let me get into it. So yes, um, the first one that we have is Blackberry Creme Frosting. This one's the one that I was most excited for and it has the wraparound on it um, and the gold lid right there. Um, and this one says fresh blackberry sweet vanilla topped with bubbly Prosecco. And this one I actually bought two of them. There's one burning in the background right now and this is the second one. Um, and mm, oh my god, I really enjoy this one. It, when I first smelled it in store, I was really freaking out because I was like, oh my god, this is like so similar to Blackberry Grapefruit, which is a super obscure scent from Slack & Co. from 2012. Um, and I love this one so much. And it's one of those Slack & Co. fragrances that I've always wanted to come back, but it never does. And this is very close to it. Uh, and so we have Blackberry Grapefruit right here, and that's what that looks like. And this one says, fresh from the orchard, delicious blend of sun and blackberries and juicy grapefruit with a touch of creamy sandalwood. Um, after having burned the Blackberry Creme Frosting, I can tell they're not the same. I actually still like this one better. Mm, the blackberry is so much more juicy and well-balanced and it's just like bursting with a sweetness. And the grapefruit is also well-balanced in there. It's not too tart or too sour. Um, unlike this one where it does get a little bit tart or sour, this one's just like the perfect blend. It's just like quintessential, amazing, like Slack and Co. like levels of perfection. Uh, but unfortunately, this one is probably the worst burning candle in all of Bath and Body Works and Slack and Co. history. Well, not including Homeworks because Homeworks has its fair shares of uh, performance issues as well. But this one, it had like pencil lid thin wicks that were so small and nubby. And like literally the moment you light them, they would just like dud out. There were so many good candles in the Fresh Pick collection from that year that just had simply bad performance. You could never enjoy them. The only reason this one's like even smoother pulled out because I put on a warmer, I believe, and melted it. Uh, but this one smells so good and juicy. Uh, it is not this exactly, but it's very close to that. But if you recall, there was also a fragrance from Poptail's collection, um, which was Sangria Berry Freeze, which is similar to Blackberry Grapefruit. And I think this is actually very, very similar to Sang Sangria Berry Freeze. I don't have that one in my collection anymore, so I can't compare it directly. But going off of memory, they're very, very close. And mind you, Sangria Berry Freeze was a summer fragrance. So does this really smell like a Christmas holiday fragrance? I don't think so. But it is what it is because they just put out a lot of Christmas. They put a lot of summery, tropical, spring fruit fragrances for Christmas and put some kind of like vague holiday name on it and call it a day. So what does it smell like? You get the same blackberry from uh, the Sangria Berry Freeze candle. Uh, it's very similar to like, if anyone knows the Mountain Dew Pitch Black, which is like the grape soda. It's like a sour grape soda Mountain Dew. Uh, it's very similar to that. It's like a sour, like... Like some kind of like, what is it, Warheads or like a Sweet Tarts type of candy, sour, uh, blackberry or berry fragrance is what I get from it. And that is very strong and it's mixed with a little bit of a uh, creamy vanilla action. But after having burned the candle, it's really not all too creamy or vanilla. It's just a really hem emphasis on a sweet, sweet and sweet and sour and tart blackberry fragrance is what I get from it. 
So you don't get a whole lot of creamy vanilla action. Um, and then it's definitely mixed with some type of like bubbly effervescent citrus note, which said it's Prosecco in there. I definitely get a citrus in here. Um, and that's why it reminds me a lot of blackberry grapefruit because it's like a blackberry citrus fragrance. Um, I still really enjoy it, but after having burned the first one, do I need two of them? I don't think so. I'll probably end up like exchanging this for Pure Wonder or something just because I don't think I need two of them. Uh, but it still does smell quite great. But it's not really holiday. Uh, Sangria Berry Freeze is probably the closest one to it. Um, people were asking if it was similar to Blueberry Sugar. It's not. I actually think this one's a little bit more uh, like creamy frosting or some kind of like vanilla infused than this is. This is a lot more sour and tart and zesty. Whereas this one's a lot more like quintessentially creamy, like a cream saver, like a berry cream saver fragrance is what I get from it. Um, and it has a sort of like yogurt creamy quality. This one smells more like a cream frosting than this one does, in my opinion. Um, it is also kind of similar to berry vanilla bean, uh, but that one was in that purple wax from that one year. I actually kind of really enjoyed that one. It was weird, but I started to really enjoy it. That one has a slightly more like warm bakery crunchiness to it mixed with a similar blackberry uh, blend that's in here. Um, I think that one was a little bit more of like a bakery vanilla, whereas this one's just like an implied some sweetness in the background, but it's not overly bakery. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's what this smells like to me. I think that's pretty much all the comparisons I can make. Um, if you like berry vanilla from Bath & Body Works, the old summer vanillas or signature vanillas, um, similar fragrance family to that. So that was the blackberry cream frosting right there. Uh, in that collection, there is the Perfect Christmas Luminaries. Uh, the other ones are Salted Caramel, Eggnog, Frozen Lake, Winter, Spiced Gingerbread, and Perfect Christmas. So those are all repackages, so I didn't need to get any of those. Um, and I really just don't really care for the Luminaries anymore. I would rather have a juicy photo label. This just this really doesn't do anything to entice me. But it is what it is. Clearly, they know what sells, so it is uh, what that is. Uh, let's see, moving on, we have Holiday Cheers, and that's what this looks like right here, um, and it is another wraparound. Um, this one looks very juvenile, and I'm just really not a huge fan of this wraparound label either. Um, yeah, uh, Holiday Cheers has warm vanilla spice rum and a dash, dash of nutmeg, um, and it has the white wax with the, uh, like, curling wicks. Um, yeah, this is kind of similar to butter rum eggnog, but not completely. Um... <laughs> So we have butterum eggnog, which is spiced eggnog, vanilla, bourbon, rich buttercream, and shaved nutmeg. And we have it in that hideous, quotable, dear Santa, I blame the eggnog packaging right here. Yeah, no, this one has a little bit more of a noggy, creamy warmth to it. Um, and it's just ever so slightly different from this Holiday Cheers one. I don't believe they're the same fragrance. Uh, but this one still has a creaminess to it. Um, it's very similar to the creamy nutmeg candle somebody was asking on the live and I was like, oh yeah, it kind of does smell like creamy nutmeg. So if you like creamy nutmeg, this is very similar to it. I just haven't had creamy nutmeg in the longest time uh, that I can't totally compare to it. But that was also repackaged as winter vanilla latte and that kind of, this kind of reminds me of that too. Where it's that sort of creamy uh, vanilla mixed with a little bit of a spiced uh, like nutmeg type of fragrance to it. like Kind of like a kitchen spice type of spice is mixed in with a creamy uh, vanilla drink fragrance so it's still similar to butter rum eggnog but not quite i think if you like that one you might enjoy this one too but there's a slight like perfuminess to it in the background but i actually kind of don't mind that because it just gives it a little bit of depth so yeah this one's decent um yeah it's kind of like in the butter rum eggnog hot buttered rum but not quite as caramely or butterscotch as hot buttered rum it's not quite as buttery or butterscotch as that one uh, but similar fragrances nonetheless. Uh, another one of those creamy, spicy, like holiday vanilla drink fragrances. So that was Holiday Cheers right there. The other ones in that collection are uh, White Tea and Sage, uh, Snowy Peachberry, and the Brown Sugar Latte. I didn't see the Brown Sugar Latte, and the other two are repackages, so we don't need that. The next candle we have is the Winter Berry Wreath one right here and that's what that looks like and it has another wrap around on it and the decorative lid right there this one says fresh picked orange juicy blackberry and warm vetiver it has the white wicks with the or the white wax with the core wicks and that's what that looks like um god this smells so similar to something but i can't put my finger on it what is it this smells like something we've had before but i'm gonna have to like ruminate on it because i can't quite figure it out but in any case uh yeah this one 
Uh, you definitely get a like that classic vetiver fragrance and vetiver is usually like a grassy green note is what vetiver normally is. It has like an earthiness to it, uh, but definitely has like a slight like piney wreath type of uh, fragrance with a little bit of sap in there. It's not quite as sweet or juicy as like a fresh balsam or a tree farm type of pine fragrance, but a similar like green vibe nonetheless, uh, like a grassy fragrance you get from the vetiver and you definitely get that in there and vetiver often has like a slightly like a floral shaving cream vibe to it i get this in here it's just classic vetiver is what i get from it mixed with like a juicy uh like winter berry type of fragrance um uh, mixed with a little bit of citrus um, yeah, it's kind of nice. It's like a quintessential, very classic, nostalgic, uh, holiday Christmas fragrance. So I enjoy that, especially when they release so many, like, fruity drink fragrances and stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with winter. Uh, I like that this is a classic holiday fragrance. So I do enjoy that. It is in a similar fragrance family as, uh, Juniper, Berry, and Pine, if you remember that from this rib glass one. Juniper, Berry, Cranberry, Pine, and Peppermint. This one, I think I still like better because this one has a stronger emphasis on those like pine uh, notes in it. There's a really heavy, like sappy type of fragrance to this. Um, and this one was also repackaged as the uh, Berry Spritzer, if you recall from Candle Day last year. Uh, this is the same fragrance. Uh, but yeah, in the similar fragrance family as that, I think this one's, you know, the vetiver is just a little bit stronger. It's a little bit more grassy, but not necessarily piney. Uh, but you still get the berry in there. So yeah, this one, I'm excited to see how it does uh, and we'll see how that goes. So we're gonna berry wreath right there. Uh, the other ones in that collection, there was a Falling Flurries, which is Thyme, Eucalyptus, Pear, and Sandalwood. That one I smelled through a mask and I just really wasn't getting a whole lot from it. It smells slightly like cream, clean or crisp, but it was really just kind of underwhelming. So I didn't get that. And there was Midnight Snow, which was Juniper Berry, Cedarwood, and Soft Lavender. That was just a full blown cologne fragrance. I just don't care for cologne fragrances. So I didn't get that. And then everything else in that collection is repackages again. Every green sweater weather champagne toast and vanilla burnt so i didn't need any of that and so that was that collection moving on to the white barn seasonal collection uh this is what this looks like so we have ice cranberry scone right here um and this one has a gold low profile lid which i actually kind of uh dig that because i think this is the first time we've had gold low profile lids on them uh fresh cranberry crumbly brown sugar and sweet vanilla uh this is the thick rope like wicks and the white wax as you can see right there and this one has a slightly weird or funky lid. It's not as strong as some of their other ones, but there is a slight funkiness to it. Uh, but in any case, uh, what does this smell like? Basically, it smells a whole lot like sweet cranberry pie, but I think they actually amped up the cranberry in this a little bit more than sweet cranberry pie. So sweet cranberry pie wasn't that this just in Black Friday collection from last year, and it smelled really, really, really similar to blueberry pie. Same with that whole brown sugar, like crumbly crust note, and like we all love blueberry pie, and so sweet cranberry pie was very similar to that. Uh, but I think this one, they actually maybe made it a little bit more cranberry than blueberry. Uh, but it also has like a kind of like a cranberry berry pop tarts fragrance, which is also kind of similar to iced blueberry biscotti, but not exactly. Uh, but this is kind of like blueberry pie mixed with more cranberry in there. So blueberry pie was a hit and everyone really loved it, at least in the candle community. Uh, so if you were jonesing for that one, this one is similar to that. Uh, I don't have sweet cranberry pie in my collection anymore because I really dud it out and got really grody and nasty. So that was the end of that one. Uh, but this one, yeah, I like it. It has that same like warm baking oven brown sugar crumbly action uh, mixed with uh, enough cranberry in there. So I really enjoy that one. So I'll see how this one does. I'm hoping it's strong. It doesn't dud out. So that was the ice cranberry scone right there. The next one we have in that collection is cinnamon sugared pecans. That's what that looks like right there. Uh, and this one is cinnamon sugar, warm roasted pecans and brown sugar. Uh, this is not pumpkin pecan waffles, which I think the sugared pecan pie, which is an online exclusive, was supposed to be a praline pecan cobbler repackage, which praline pecan cobbler is pretty much just pumpkin pecan waffles. They're all the same fragrance. Uh, this is not that. This, uh, you get more of like a, like a kitchen spice type of uh, brown sugar component to it mixed with a cinnamon sugar in there, but it's not cinnamon spiced vanilla or cinnamon sugar donut because it doesn't have like that greasy uh, fried donut or fried churro vibe to it. It's more like a mix of kitchen spices, kind of like if you open like a spice rack, but it had like the sweeter variety of spices in there. This is kind of what it smells like. There's a slight pecan-y nuttiness in there. It does smell like a new fragrance. Uh, it's very close to the brown sugar and allspice fragrance from White Barn from many years back. It's kind of similar to that. Uh, but yeah, kind of warm, cozy, just spicy brown sugar and cinnamon plus a little bit of nutty fragrance is what I get. Um, it's not a direct repackage, at least to my nose, so I'm happy about that. So that was cinnamon sugared pecans right there. Uh, let's see, the rest of one, the ones in that collection are 
uh, let's see, sweater weather, fresh balsam, eucalyptus snowfall, spice apple toddy, uh, ice vanilla woods, fireside tree farm, and bubbly rose, which are all repackages. There's also supposed to be a peppermint hot chocolate, but I could not locate that one. And there's also a winter cabin, which I was speculating might be chestnut and clove. So winter cabin originally came out as uh, a Slack and Co. fragrance, and that was repackaged as chestnut and clove, and then acorn lane was like a tweak on chestnut and clove. Um, it is not that. Winter cabin is com something completely new. I might actually pick that up a little bit later on. It had like a warm, toasty, cozy, gourmand vibe to it mixed with a little bit of woodsiness to it. It's actually kind of like intriguing and nice. So I'm actually, that's the one that I'm kind of like jonesing for next. So Winter Cabin is not a repackage to my nose, at least on cold. Once again, it was through a mask so I couldn't get a full in-depth reading on it, but that wraps up that collection. The next one that we have is the uh, one from the Sense of Christmas collection. There's a whole crap load of them, which are all repackages. And this was the only one that I wanted just because this one I really enjoyed last year. It was new last year and I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to get another one this year. But it's peppermint sugar cookie right here and it has that lid on it. Uh, this one says crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter and soft sugar cookies. Uh, and it has, looks like that. Mm, this is still so delicious. This is like a nice replacement for peppermint marshmallow, which always got grody and nasty, but this one kind of improves it and makes it stronger as well. So I really enjoy that. So you get that like peppermint marshmallow type of fragrance in there, um, but mixes with a nice warm like shortbread cookie type of fragrance. I was saying in my live that there's like those tubes of like the Pillsbury, Pillsbury like shortbread cookies. Like it's like a tube of dough and like you cut them. Uh, you get that like, like, that texture of the shortbread of those type of cookies. And it's very similar to the base of like sugar to snickerdoodle, but then they mix uh, the like, you know, the peppermint marshmallow type of fragrance in there. And it's a really juicy, crumbly, delicious peppermint sugar cookie fragrance. It's really well executed. So last year's, I think one did well, but the second one kind of like dud it out. So we'll see how the performance is on this one, but I really enjoy that fragrance. So I did pick up another one for it this year. Uh, the rest of the ones in that collection are indeed repackages. Winter candy, apple, mahogany, balsam, hot cocoa and cream, holiday, snowflakes and citrus, marshmallow, fireside, flannel, frosted cranberry, fresh balsam, tis the season, sugar, snickerdoodle, champagne toast, spice, apple toddy, mahogany, teakwood, and spice gingerbread. So those are all repackages so I don't need any of those. And I think that's it for all the stuff that I hauled, but I did smell some other collections, uh, but I just didn't purchase them yet. There is the collection that's like the Joy to the World one that had iced raspberry bellini in it. That has like a nice uh, like raspberry mimosa meets like a cranberry pear bellini type of regular raspberry drink fragrance. It was nice. Um, I, not anything that I need to hoard or maybe even pick up, but we'll see. Uh, sugar snickerdoodles in there as well. There's a winter peach marshmallow. Uh, and then lastly, there's cotton candy champagne which I was able to smell the travel size fine fragrance mess of that. And that one actually smelled really nice. It, it is similar to like Cotton Candy Clouds and Boardwalk Taffy, but I think it smelled more distinctly cotton candy and sugary sponge sugar sweet. And I really enjoy that. And there's like a strawberry blend in there as well. I didn't get a whole lot of champagne on the FFM, but uh, mind you, like the mist really like dried away like quickly, like it wasn't much longevity to it. So uh, I didn't, you know, smell it totally intensely, especially because I was in the store with a mask and everything. Uh, but that one kind of faded away quickly, but I do uh, want to get the candle if that ever comes out. So that's the other collection that I did not pick up any from. And then there's also a like fancy lid collection that's up to $27.50 now, which is quite pricey. Uh, but that one, there's a birch leaf and sage or something like that. That was just like a woodsy one of those like closet fragrances that smells kind of like a cedar chest or like a drawer of, you know, like a drawer, like a chest of drawers. It had that type of woodsy fragrance to it. It was unique, but nothing that I really needed to get. There was also sugared pomegranate, which was actually pretty juicy too. It kind of smells like the name implies. And that's in like a really pretty pink packaging, that one I could consider, but I don't, uh, I don't have to pick that one immediately, especially not at 1750. Um, and I think that's it for that. And then there's finally like a pink handled version of candles coming out as well that's like a fancy glass as well and I think there's like things like wine cellar or something in there um that one has holiday wine cellar flannel in winter so I don't need any of those but if you were looking for wine cellar that does exist in the collection this year and I think that's pretty much it for everything I smelled uh there's a pure wonder uh three wick that I really want I smelled the single wick in the store and it smelled great it smelled way better than the shower gel did it was a lot more strong and robust the jasmine really came through it was like a white heady floral that I really enjoyed so um I'm looking forward to picking up the three wick of that uh because it did smell quite nice uh at least in the single wick so once the three wicks are in I'm probably going to exchange some of the like blackberry creme frosting the extra one that i don't need for that one so i'm really jazzed about that
Oh, there was also a like Christmas messaging collection uh, that had bright Christmas morning in it, which was kind of like a orange apples and berries fragrance. It was very similar to Champagne Toast, like a sister fragrance of Champagne Toast. So if you like Champagne Toast, check that one out. I think Champagne Toast is like tangerines and berries too. So you can see the comparison there. There was also Cookies with Santa that I didn't pick up, but I did a smell. That one's actually not as sweet uh, as you would imagine. It's like not Merry Cookie. It's a different fragrance. It has a little bit more of a savory, buttery shortbread experience to it there's even almost like a slightly bready quality to it that wasn't super sweet it wasn't a whole lot strong especially through a mask so i don't i couldn't get a full read on it but i'm um, happy to report it doesn't seem like a repackage it, it's not like mary cookie it's actually quite less sweet and a little bit more savory or bready uh than that kind of think of like french baguette that type of like bready quality is what i got from cookies with santa um and i think it's also under the christmas tree in that collection as well which i really enjoyed and that's what this was this one has that sage in the egg the juniper berries and balsam freaking delicious i still have this one if i finish this one this year then i pick up another one from this year's uh, packaging and i believe that is it for the christmas stuff um and then i just had a few stragglers uh here my sister wanted me to pick up a pineapple pound cake from um uh, the sale uh next time i was in store and we both really enjoyed this one i slept on this initially because i'm cold it doesn't smell very great uh but when you go to burn it it's really really freaking delicious it's like one of my favorite candles from this year uh it's just weird it came out in a fall release because this is clearly a summer candle but don't sleep on that one because it's really delicious and then totally eating my words with this one it's pumpkin cinnamon bun right here I really ragged on this in my candle review uh but then I actually ended up really enjoying it um there is like a slight creamy frosting fragrance in there it burns great it's super strong Bren on Instagram candles and music was saying it was very similar to pumpkin spice cheesecake which I didn't make that like connection but she's totally right it does smell a whole lot like pumpkin spice cheesecake, which I love that fragrance and never comes back. So I'm kind of uh, excited that there's like a slight variation of it in this one. There's a slight like cream cheesy or vanilla frosting note that kind of evokes like the cheesiness of a cheesecake filling type of fragrance that I actually really enjoyed. And there's like a slight crumbliness to it that I actually really grew to enjoy this one. So pumpkin cinnamon bun, I did get another one because I'm almost done with my first one. It just performed so great. And I think that's pretty much it. Let me know which candles you guys are excited from the Christmas collection. I will try to start reviewing these um, and get them out and, and we'll go from there. So thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.